than just being on a, a jet and just being like, yeah, I'm on a jet now. They was having them a time. What's up guys, you know what I'm saying, it's your girl sent me back with another video, you know, as you can see by the cat, y'all know I'm hype, y'all just know that I'm hype, y'all just know this, you feel me, I, I, I can't help but be hype after seeing this episode, and that I was right about something that I said I was right about, but we gonna get into that. But, you know what I'm saying, before we get into the video, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more of my videos. Also, let me know what other videos y'all want to see in the comments down below. And, let's get into it. Now, y'all, if you watched my last Baddies video, I, I, you know what I'm saying, we watched the clip, we watched the trailer, we got it all out the way. And I had said how I felt like Razor is going to fight yet again because she gets alcohol in her system. Not saying that everybody else say like she's an angry drunk. No, I feel like, again, she has liquor courage. I feel like she get liquor in her system. And the stuff that she wants to say when she's sober, she says when she's drunk. You feel me? And if that, I don't know if that makes sense to y'all, but you know what I'm saying? It makes sense to me. Because I don't see Razor as just being an angry drunk. Oh, hell no. I don't see her as that type of girl. It just seems like there's certain things that she don't like within certain girls in the house. She don't want to say it though. So she's drinking. And then when she's drinking, it's like then she tries to like express herself to them. And it always turns out sour. It always turns sour. Why? Because it's not what you say. It's how you say it. And I ain't gonna cap. If anybody is yelling at me and being aggressive, talking to me, for one, you're not my daddy, and two, I don't gotta listen to you, I'm not gonna wanna talk to you. I don't think anybody's gonna wanna talk to anybody like that. Nobody's gonna like that, you feel me? Like, you're not gonna like anybody coming at you, yelling in your face. And I'm pretty sure if the roles were reversed and it was stuffing up with John, doing it to Razor, she would have reacted the same way. You know what I'm saying? And we don't know what really even went down on this private jet boy, but all I want to sit up here and say is I'd rather be on the ground, baby. I'd rather be on the ground, you feel me? They was, they, they was having them a time. Fun, you know what I'm saying? I liked seeing that about Tommy, especially too, because she made sure the people that rode with her was having fun, having themselves a good time. You know what I'm saying? Doing road trip stuff, girl stuff, bonding, like how the show's supposed to be. You know, versus the PJ, you see them in there. Things went left, granted, because like one person was drunk, but even so, it's like it was just a different type of vibe, you know. You stink! It was two different types of energy. And I'd rather be on the bus. I'd rather that genuine, authentic energy than just being on a, a jet and just being like, yeah, I'm on a jet. Nah, nah, you know what I'm saying? Granted, though, everybody's different. You know what I'm saying? You got some that prefer the luxury. And you got some that prefer some somewhat more of a laid back setting, just as luxurious to them, but just laid back. You feel me? So. It's to each his own, but you know what I'm saying? Overall, at the end of the day, like I said, I don't think Razor is a angry drunk. I just feel like she has liquid courage in her, you know what I'm saying? She feels, she has an opinion to what goes on in the house. When she's sober, she try to act like, you know what I'm saying? She don't really got an opinion for real. But deep down, it's showing that she does have an opinion. Why? Because every time the girl drinks, she ends up speaking out about, you know, somebody or something. Granted, the different, the, the, the whole situation with her and Scotty, and her and Stop, two different 
different things. Kylie didn't do nothing to that girl. You know what I'm saying? She didn't do nothing nobody else did. So, but Stunna is like Stunna just by her respect. And I feel like people are really overlooking that and trying to call her a little girl or trying to call her immature or trying to make it seem like she just popping off. I really feel like she is just about respecting her, talking to her the right way, you know what I'm saying? Understanding, listening, making sure you got that tone with me. Because if you don't, and I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, you're weird, I don't want to fight you. At least that's how she is taking it. If you, if you feel weird, you give me some weirdness, I want to fight you. And no cat, that's not that far from Krishan. <laughs> you feel me? We all know that. But hey, you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on the show. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if I should do more recaps and what else should I have talked about for this episode. Because it was a lot of stuff that happened. You know what I'm saying? We got we really gotta watch the trailer for our next episode. Cause that luck is gonna be good too. But you feel me? I'ma see y'all for the next one. Like I said in the beginning, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Let's this bag of stuff is just too good to not to not catch on record by. So I hope y'all appreciate it. And I appreciate y'all for watching and see y'all for the next one.